your body, your mind, and your spirit. Be proud of yourself and the uniform you now wear. Now in their second week of training, the recruits of the Alpha Company were introduced to the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program and Officer Force. McMap has taught the recruits to mold and develop a warrior mindset in addition to learning martial arts that could save them on the battlefield. In their first training session, the recruits learned numerous basic techniques that they'll be tested on in the basic 10 bell syllabus. During the O course, recruits were tested physically on their ability to successfully run, climb, and jump over sections of the course. No matter how well they performed, they'll have the opportunity to tackle the course again later on in training. This is just two of the numerous events recruits will have to face in this week's portion of the training. In Alpha Company's second week of training, the recruits spent more time in Marine Corps Martial Arts Program classes, this time for bayonet techniques. Their ultimate goal was to familiarize themselves with a simulated bayonet in time to tackle the bayonet assault course and kugel sticks event for the first time. <laughs> During the rush of the bayonet assault course, recruits are introduced to the challenges of moving safely and swiftly through a simulated chaotic environment. Before allowing a team member to advance to the next obstacle, a recruit has to provide cover simulating what it would be like watching another marine's back while moving in combat. Soon after this, recruits battle one another using simulated rifles known as pugil sticks. These events all prepare the recruits for more training to come in the weeks ahead of them. Good training, so this week we covered McNabb. We also did the Bayonet and the Star Force. And we we'll get the recruits ready to transition on to the second phase. So it's uh, more demanding with the height and running. And as you see now, we're doing the obstacle course. They run it twice, that way the, they get ready to the physical demands. And we get the recruits ready to transition on the second phase. These recruits are entrusted to my care. These recruits are entrusted to my care. I will train them to the best of my ability. I will, I will train them to the best of my ability. I will develop them into. I will develop them into. Smartly disciplined. Smartly disciplined. Physically fit. Physically fit. Basically trained marines. Basically trained marines. Thoroughly indoctrinated. Thoroughly indoctrinated. In love of foreign country. In love of foreign country. I will demand of them. I will demand of them. And demonstrate by my own example. And demonstrate by my own example. The highest standards. The highest standards. Personal conduct. Personal conduct. Morality. Morality. And professional skill. Professional skill. Take charge of these men and make them marines. During Alpha Company's third week of training, the recruits had their first of four inspections, the Senior Drill Instructor Inspection. The drill instructors tested the recruits on topics such as weapons, uniforms, racks, and the squad bay, and inspected the cleanliness and maintenance of the recruits' weapons and uniforms. The recruits have had a sufficient amount of time to prepare for the inspection, so they are expected to know the answers to the material they're testing. Because this is the first inspection, the recruits aren't necessarily used to being under so much pressure all at once, and the fear of failure can be scary. This is a necessary chaos to prepare them for the future events and training. At the end of the week, the recruits are evaluated on their precision, discipline, and instant obedience to orders through an initial drill evaluation. Each platoon has had practiced several hours with their drill instructors to try and synchronize their movements with each other. During the test, drill masters from the recruit training regiment carefully watch each of the recruits and drill instructors' movements to see how well they move as a unit. Later in training is the final drill evaluation, and depending on how well they do during initial drill determines how much more practice they'll need to get a better score.
Thanks for watching this video. I hope this gives a little bit of insight of what it takes to become a United States Marine. If you like the video, please check out some more over here. Until next time, Simplified Devil Dogs.